We all want success in everything we do, right? So how do you create the kind of success you want in your business, in your job, and even in your life? Well, the crazy thing is, we spend most of our life trying to figure it out, and yet we never seem to be satisfied with the answers that we discover. Do you agree? Now, the answer to that question is actually really simple, but we don't really want to be told that now, do we? Otherwise, it's going to make us look a little stupid for not achieving it already. So, the steps to success are simple, but that doesn't mean that they're easy. So let's look at them briefly. Step one, have a rock solid purpose. Now, this is about the kind of future that you want to create and not about the materialistic things that you wanna buy. You know, your purpose is rock solid if it's focusing on making a positive difference in the world and to helping people. In other words, you're willing to do whatever you can to fulfill your purpose in life. So what's your purpose? Whether large or small, you can change the world in some small way. It has to be a purpose that's not only makes a difference, a positive difference in the world, but it's also so powerful it gets you up every morning with vigor, vitality, and buckets of enthusiasm. Number two, express a clear vision statement. No matter how strong your purpose, it will tank unless you can express a clear vision for how you're going to bring that purpose to life. If you can express a general approach to how to bring your purpose to life, you are on your way to creating a vision statement. Step three, write a convincing plan. Okay, so you've got a purpose that fires you up in the mornings. You've got a vision that gives you some direction in how you're going to live your purpose. Now it's time to write a plan. A convincing plan isn't about writing a detailed business or personal plan. It's about setting out some specific goals and outlining the key steps you'll need to take to deliver on those goals. The key is to make them simple, understandable and doable. Step four, get stuck in with passion and energy. If you've done the first three steps correctly, then you'll have buckets of energy and drive to crack on. If you haven't done them, then the odds are you've not discovered your purpose or not fully uncovered your purpose or calling yet. Sometimes when you have a purpose that looks as if it will become our reality, we immediately start finding reasons to run from it. The sad thing is that we as human beings are built to sometimes be more afraid of succeeding than failing. If that happens, you need to find the time to see what's stopping you so you can get clear and committed again and push forward. And step five, review, revise, relaunch and repeat. Scrutinize what you're doing. And you are a successful if you think that way, okay? If you're not, things need to change. Every day, look at what works and do more of it. Rinse and repeat, people, rinse and repeat. Drop the stuff that doesn't work, okay? This last step, should be ingrained in your psyche. It should be a way of living, a automated subconscious program that you run every single damn day of your life. Do those five steps well, and you'll be well on your way to consistently achieving your goals and living your life's purpose. Okay, so if you've loved that, please click the like and uh, share buttons, and make sure you subscribe to my channel.